my pleasure to welcome Marco Palombi. He is a serial entrepreneur from Italy. In his previous life, he worked for Procter and Gamble, McKinsey, and Fiat, and he now is the founder and currently heads First Generation, an organization for fostering entrepreneurship in Italy. Marco, welcome. Thank you. Um, a serial entrepreneur mm -hmm. from Italy, mm -hmm. you had a comfortable, cushy job in great companies, mm -hmm. uh, including McKinsey. Mm -hmm. What made you leave and start your own business? Mm -hmm. Well, it was all about uh, change, basically. I saw myself as uh, uh, someone who was stuck in a corporate job and was not able to really uh, participate to this change that was happening outside. Uh, remember, it was the days when the internet, the web, was uh, uh, coming out, and I could see lots of opportunities. And uh, corporations, even if they are very successful corporations, uh, they are not able to capture that kind of change. So I said, I'm going to get crazy <laughs> if I don't go out and start something on my own. That was the main reason. I want to ask you something very unique about mm -hmm. Italy mm -hmm. and the spirit of entrepreneurship. Yeah. Um, it is expanding quite a bit, um, but you started the first venture, wasn't very successful. Yeah. You sold the second one very successfully. Yeah. Still, there is, I heard, an, a stigma attached to failure, yeah. which is very opposite to what we have in Silicon Valley. Yeah. Did you feel that and how did you overcome to start the second venture? Um, I actually felt that and um, the reason why I overcame it, I guess, it was because basically the internet gave us, uh, in general, people who work on the internet, who live on the internet, basically, they gave you a different role model. So you had the physical role model, which is exactly what you said, you get the stigma of failure. But you also have uh, another way, another kind of role models coming from the internet where you see people that actually failed before and they succeeded later, right? So this is the first time, I guess, in the world where you have uh, two role models like uh, fighting each other, right? The physical one and the, the, the role model coming out of the internet. I follow that one. Uh, it's hard though because you live physically in a, in a place where uh, that is not accepted. So you have to just uh, fight yourself and uh, really uh, stand for what you think is right and it's difficult. Yeah, difficult. You know, uh, Ambassador Spogli, who was the ambassador of US mm -hmm. to Italy, and Richard mm -hmm. Bogli, who was also mm -hmm. part of the team, uh, they did a case study which was very successful of spreading entrepreneurship in Italy. Mm -hmm. Do you think the scene in Italy is changing now that people are accepting um, failure, which is not necessarily a failure, mm -hmm. we call it learning steps so they can improve in the next venture? Mm -hmm. And there's a lot more opportunity mm -hmm. for up-and-coming entrepreneurs. No, I don't think that uh, this kind of change has happened in Italy yet because um, the only way you can really uh, have change is if uh, you instill uh, new role models into the system. And uh, yes, the internet is here, but if you look at the internet penetration, uh, it's very limited still. Uh, we've witnessed with the Obama campaign that for the first time maybe there was some shift uh, in, um, in, uh, in voting uh, uh, because of the internet. But, but even in the US, that shift was limited, right? So going forward, I think that the internet will bring uh, this kind of change. But right now, uh, the change mainly is, uh, would be brought by traditional media. And traditional media is controlled <laughs> by the establishment. And uh, the role models you have today in Italy are still those of uh, being successful, being a soccer player or a starlet <laughs> right on television, not being an entrepreneur. Uh, even being an entrepreneur, you don't really understand what it is in Italy because um, they, they call themselves entrepreneur people who, are, who have their parents being entrepreneur, for instance, and then they inherit <laughs> this title, which, of course, they're not entrepreneurs. They're managing the, their father's company, for instance, right? Um, so um, what we figure out we wanted to <clears throat> change in Italy was this idea of role models. And the only way you could do it was uh, leveraging this new infrastructure that you have the internet, so organizing video chats like we're doing right now, and uh, distributing them on the internet, like showing uh, very few examples of uh, young uh, people in Italy that without a background, so without a family, had started their own company and were successful. 
That's why we call it first generation <laughs> entrepreneurs, because uh, we wanted to show them that uh, young people basically come on, coming out of universities and their dream up to now has been, you know, I want to work for a big company because I'm safe and uh, nobody will kick me out or uh, that there is a direct way of doing these things, right? So that was uh, the main drive. And I think we were uh, fairly successful in doing that because I, I know uh, the feedback I got is everybody who watched these uh, video chats basically got energized about it. Uh, and I have a few cases of people that actually left their job and started their own company because of what they saw. And this is uh, great, I think. The moment this idea is transferred to main media, then I think that uh, things will start changing. But this is not the case right now. Well, Marco, thank you for being the inspiration. I'm sure you know, you're know a role model for many up-and-coming entrepreneurs, especially in Italy. Mm -hmm. We need more people like you. Thank you for sharing the ideas thank with you. us. Thank you.